Good morning guys, it's Miss Philly. We are thrifting today. We've hit up one, two, three, four. Wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is our seventh thrift store, guys. Seven thrift stores from 9.30 in the morning till 12. So an hour and a half, we've hit up seven thrift stores. That's a lot. I feel like that's a lot during the day already. I found one thing, nothing crazy, but it's okay for the price. <laughs> Daniel found a few things, nothing crazy. It's Monday. Mondays are usually slow. So how was your guys' weekend? My weekend was boring AF, although I did work. I work, 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 work. That's all I did was work, 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 work. I had a lot of sales over the weekend, which was nice. Um, I need to buy a few things. I need a new computer. And I need a new TV. My TV is busted. It has lines all over it. My computer is super slow. I bought it brand new iMac 27 inch. I bought it brand new in 2013. So it's a 10 year old computer. I want to show you guys this cute Made in Canada Holt Renfrew bag. I would have got it, but like the strap is all fucked. I love this bag though. I've sold this bag before for good money, but I feel like the strap kills it it's a good bag though reminds me of chanel it was kind of a i don't know well i mean i'll let you guys decide what kind of a thrift day it was today oh, we ran late today it's four o'clock um we had a lot of stop offs daniel need to stop off a lot of places but um pick up things to drop off things and i had to drop off some stuff and then mail some packages um, so I picked up this Rebecca Minkoff. I don't know, it was only $10. That's why we picked it up. But that bag better sell. No, it would sell. Let me talk. <laughs> Explain talk. what you're showing. I they can see what I'm showing. Toronto, Canada foam trucker hat. Super cool. It's clean. all the Torontonians that want vintage. Here it is. That's a cool trucker hat. It is. I like the little like emblem shield thing. It's cool. From Goodwill. Weird looking kind of patch. Yeah, Goodwill fine today. Really nice. And we still have a lot of stuff in the car. You can't see past the golf case. But we got a lot. There's a bag down there. Clothing. More clothing. Willie Nelson fans. This one's for you. And we got this cool blouse today too. Blouse. Blouse. So it's, uh, Ashley guessed the age of it, 1970s. It's so obvious that it's 70s. It's so cool. It looks so nice. Like, I love this front. Super nice blouse. Cool. Okay. <laughs> we are back in business. Okay. We were talking. Oh, these were on sale, and I love lint chocolate. This is a pistachio one, and uh, it was actually really good. It was on sale for 50% off. And I know that three of them at the dollar store are $1.75. This was five and you get two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I want to add that I was gluttonous. I ate them all, all 12 of them at 80 calories each. I ended up eating it all. Yeah, I said that. And it was 900 calories for the entire thing. 12? Twelve for five dollars. I guess that's a deal. I ate one already. <laughs> Had to have my Starbucks today. I've been sipping on the water. We got the um, we got the we, our favorite drink is a brown sugar sh oat shaken espresso. So we got it in a venti because if I get it in a grande, it does not taste the same for me anyway personally. Um, what else? Okay, so we're talking about the bag. I just came from the storage locker. Uh, had to put in this big old wood horse and then the yellow um, patio set because that's going to be sold next year. Okay, so we got this uh, Rebecca Minkoff. There is some wear on it, but I mean, nothing crazy. Just a little bit of like wear on the leather from usage, like kind of like this. I don't know if you could even see that. Um, but I know this bag is expensive and it was only $10. It says as is. I wonder why it says as is. Why is it as is? It's fairly clean. Everything seems fine, I think. Yeah, everything seems fine. Everything is affixed. Just, uh, it's a really good, like, bag. It's a, I love the silhouette of it. And you can unbuckle it here. 
and buckle it like this so you could like change the shape of it. Now let me show you the shape of my bag. Yeah, it's a really versatile bag. Rebecca Minkoff, I always thought that like Rebecca Minkoff for me is like dead in terms of sales. Like nobody is buying it unless it's like literally maybe like 30 and under. And even then that I'd be lucky to get that. So I don't even know why I bought this. I just bought it cause I kind of like it. And the bag and like Rebecca Minkoff's quality is really good. Like it's very, um, I don't think they get as much credit as they deserve, but yeah. So we got this really nice taupey gray um, backpack and her labels right there. And the only other thing that made the day worth it today, guys, that made the day worth it today were these Versace sunglasses, $20. Case is a little beat, but the glasses are actually really cool. I like them. Uh, made in Italy. I love the side. Like, it has crystals. Some of the crystals have come off, but that's okay. It's not as noticeable. Let's see. Until right there or there. Hard to see there. There. <laughs> um, I love the Medusa emblem and then the Versace um, embedding. Are there crystals missing? I can't even tell. Or are they just dirty? I can't tell. Or maybe they are? I don't know. Can I feel if the crystal's missing? Are there crystals missing? Take a look. Or is it just dirty? It's hard to tell if I'm up close. Anyway, made in Italy. $20. $20. Look! Isn't that cool? Love them. And it's like, hello, what's up? Versace, thank you. <laughs> um, I love these. I actually love these a lot. What's good about these sunglasses is everything just seems so like light still. When I put these on, everything seems so dark. So I guess that's good. I actually really like these for my face, but I love money mo. So, um, are these green? I don't even want to color. What color is this? Like here's some tortoise over here, but this like, like arm looks green. I don't know. It's really nice. And is there any scratches on the lenses? Let me see. I can't see any scratching on the lenses, so that's good. Let me put them on again. I don't see any scratches on the lens at all. And they were very, very comfortable. So yeah, these were $20. This is what made the day. I don't know what these retail for. Probably a couple hundred for sure if it's a Versace. I just love the unique, the color of it and the side arm of it. The case is doing this, but I mean, if I had crazy glue, I could probably crazy glue it back down. The case has some marks on it, but whatever. They fit in here, so I'm assuming these are the original case for it. But yeah, so that's all that we got today. Rebecca Minkoff and Versace. That's it. Um, Daniel had got a lot of stuff today. He... <laughs> uh, what do you get? What do you get? I don't even know what he got. That was good. Just a bunch of stuff. But yeah, that's all. I mean, the Versace made it worth it. So yeah. Anyway, I guess now it's tomorrow. I told you guys the next clip will be the next day and my hair is wet from the shower. <sighs> the lighting isn't bad though. <laughs> I'm going to try that thing that someone said, order a grande uh, brown chicken oat espresso and then you use a venti cup with ice. Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Philly. Um, it's the next day, obviously. Um, okay, so I don't know if this lady watches my videos, but I, so I'm trying to be as respectful as possible because I really do like her. She's like a really nice person. We get along, we talk, we are cordial. But okay, so, <clears throat> I'm not thrifting with Daniel today, so I went thrifting on my own. And then when I went to the t-shirt section, because usually when I'm not thrifting with Daniel, I'll check the t-shirts for him. And I went, when the store opened, I went directly to the t-shirt t-shirt section. And then the lady like, like beelines it to the t-shirt section as well. So I started looking and she comes up beside me, like literally beside me. And I'm kind of like, 
and I'm starting in the in the law in the extra large like why don't you start in the further part of the extra large or like the large section like you see me in this area you're literally beside me like it's just I don't know it kind of threw me off and to be honest it kind of annoyed me in a sense of people who are thrifting if you're in this business of thrifting and reselling that you should have some sort of etiquette in terms of that you know and Daniel has had that multiple times before and I feel like within the guy community because there is a huge thrifting guy community in my city you know and I feel like the guys know what's up you know um, I feel like the way the guys do it is they just run and they'll, they'll, they'll start looking, you know? And I feel like if a guy sees someone in a section, he's not going to go in that immediate section. He might start at the end, but not beside him. And I feel like the women might not know this, you know? Um, I don't know. Or maybe people who are new at thrifting and reselling don't know this, but if I see like someone that I always see and or even like just a normal person thrifting, I'm not going to go like in their immediate area. I'm going to go at least like say this is me. I'm going to go at least like the length of like the door of my car. So over here, I'm not going to go right beside them. But this lady like was literally like right here with me. So that kind of just threw me off and it was just kind of like I get it's a competition and I get that people are just it's harder to find things there's just so many people thrifting it's harder and harder to find things the thrift store is jacking up the prices the thrift stores are being shady there's a lot of things going on to the point where it's harder for people to find shit at the thrift store and I get that but I mean also have some courtesy and some etiquette in terms of thrifting <laughs> Uh, but like, I'm not at all saying that she's a bad person. I don't like her. I'm just saying that that moment and that, uh, thing that occurred, you know, circumstance that occurred was kind of off putting to me. Anyway, with that being said, <laughs> I do not like thrifting on Tuesdays. It is just so busy. Not only do you have your regular thrifters out and about, you know, beeline, blah, 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 but you have the looky loos. You have the seniors. Not all seniors are slow, but a lot of them are very, very slow. You have like people who are bringing their parents, you know, to go to go thrifting. So it's just a huge jungle of people thrifting. And I'm just ugh, my I don't and I don't like people, you know, <laughs> like stay away from me. Actually, yesterday when I was thrifting, this lady came up to me. And she literally grabbed this and she's like, is that a phone case? And I'm like, oh, what are you doing? And I tried to be polite. I was like, oh, no, it's a little pouch. She's like, oh, they made cases like that in the 90s for phones. I'm like, yeah, they did. But I mean, you think, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with people touching me and shit for the most part. But cause I'm not really like iffy that way. But um, you think that after COVID, you know, people are a little bit more distant, especially strangers. But didn't really bother me but it was a little like I was just a little confused because of COVID anyway with that being said I had a breakfast meal at McDonald's a sausage and egg McMuffin and a hash brown yes we're having a fat girl late summer and then I got a coffee black and then a diet coke because we love diet coke I only went to two oh there was a super cute guy at Goodwill, I never go to this Goodwill. I probably I've only been to it once this year, but and then including today, so twice. But he's so cute. Oh my god, that is my dream is to find a boyfriend who loves thrifting as much as I do. Oh god, we would be the dream team of thrifting. Gotta be hot though, because you know a bitch is gonna be hot one day, so he has to be hot too. Okay, so the only thing that we bought was this. Daniel leather uh crossbody bag but i i bought it because it has a clochette the leather is really nice i feel like it's older Daniel, and also it can be, it doubles as a backpack so i thought that was kind of interesting it's the tag is kind of caught in the way like this tag so i can't make it into a backpack but as you can see from the back it could be a backpack as well as a crossbody bag and it has a front button snap pocket a front zip pocket any money left no and then you got your main pocket here which has a zip pocket and then two pockets here and this was fairly cheap 
it was $7.83. I know this is older Gagne based on the label inside. Can you see that? Uh, but also because of the zippers. Like the newer Gagne, they usually label the zippers, but this has no labeling. And then this zipper is like different from the zipper inside. So yeah, this is probably early 90s, late 80s. But it's cute. So there. And then the only other thing that we got was from Goodwill. I thought this was a really good deal. Um, and I got two of them. We got this bowl. I like how this bitch is acting like she, I'm parked too close to her car when like literally she's skinny as fuck and like she could fit. Like I could fit getting out and I'm being an obese whale like you can fit getting in like get a grip anyway oh is this blue I feel like it's blue okay or is it white I don't know I'm colorblind as fuck but we paid five dollars for both of these bowls ah my dog is gonna have such a cute little setup or I might resell them because my dog has stainless steel bowls anyway woof look at that woof and woof and they are two dollars and fifty cents each Ray Dunn Artisan collection by Mahenta dishwasher safe. May get hot in microwave. Anyway, yeah, they were $2.50 at freaking Goodwill. So the lady was so nice too. She wrapped it. And I'm like, you don't have to wrap, wrap it. And she's like, no, I want to wrap it. I don't want to get broken. Well, thank you. Thank you for your etiquette and thank you for your politeness. <laughs> yeah, but that's all that we got today. And I am really kind of done. <laughs> no, no, uh, no pun intended, Ray Dunn. I'm Ray Dunn today. Uh, I'll just go back tomorrow thrifting when there is less people, lots of competition, but at, at least it's like not Senior Tuesday. Um, 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 um. Okay, so I did a video for the members, but I had to refilm it. I just didn't like the way I executed it because I, I, I talk about a really famous YouTuber and I don't really like my tone in it. And I don't want to come across as um bitchy and not liking this person because it's not really the case well maybe it is i don't know not really but i don't know i have to refilm it so sorry i'm a little behind on that video also i want to do a video about not being friends with a lot of people anymore um like i talked about it briefly but i want to go more like in depth about how i feel about not having friends so i want to do that video for the members Daniel's going to do a video for the members about uh, how he worked at Salvation Army and what happened. Tea. Piping hot tea when Daniel worked at the thrift store, guys. Yes. I don't know if you know, but Daniel worked at the motherfucking thrift store. He was there for like four years. Like he started when he was underage. I think he was like 16 when he started working there up until like the end of 2020. A lot of shady shit, guys. A lot of shady shit that he told me. And he even has receipts guys receipts so that would be interesting if you're interested in that too freaking like subscribe to the members um we did grab we did gain a few members over the night so thank you to the people who subscribe to the membership portion of the channel i appreciate it um okay someone had commented on my video which i blocked them anyway so whatever but they're like someone commented that they want to hear about what happened to dave and how i'm only posting it for people in the membership channel who are paying and like i've reiterated in the past i don't want to share my personal information to people who are trolls to people who are just here as looky loos who are like you know who really hate you but they still watch you because there's a lot of those people there's a lot small percentage but it is there and i don't want to give in to those kinds of people and share my personal life with them so that's why i put a lot of i'm putting a lot of my personal shit on the membership portion of the channel. It is to prevent uh, trolls, haters, looky-loos, wannabes, and people who just de gen uh, generally are toxic to you. Obviously, a lot of people cannot afford that as well, so I apologize for that, but it is my way of controlling what I put out on the internet. So, anyway, um, 
what else I'm not thrifting with daniel tomorrow I, I don't know it's weird but i don't have someone to thrift with i just feel like i'm bored and i just want to like go home especially when i don't find things you know one after the other after the other the only good thing about thrifting alone is that i can end whenever i want Sometimes when I'm with Daniel and I want to end, I don't because I don't want to waste his time and we're already out, you know? And at the end of the day, I'm really, excuse me, I'm really mentally and physically exhausted. And I know a huge part of that is because I've gained a lot of weight. So that's why I'm mentally and physically exhausted. Like literally just moving my body hurts. And everybody keeps saying that i don't look as big as i am but i do i'm like i'm a realist and i know what i used to be like and i know how i used to be a couple months ago and i know what i'm feeling and i know what i see in the mirror so everybody who's telling me that i'm not as big as i am like to me they are the ones who are delusional and trying to be nice and i'm the one who is like living in reality nobody's telling me the truth but what do I gotta do? Like, do I need to go in a bikini? Like, do I need to wear a tight fitting, like freaking tank top cat suit so that everybody can open their eyes and be like, okay, yeah, that bitch is fat, you know? Anyway, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. So it was very like mundane because it was just very, I don't know. Yesterday was kind of meh, today was kind of meh. So hopefully tomorrow will be like a better thrift day and we will, I'm gonna try and like, um plan it out where I'm going to start and hopefully luck will be on our side. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so we stopped by <laughs> Salvation Army because it's literally next door to Valley Village. I picked up two things. I need a new, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what is this called? <laughs> a tablecloth. I need a new tablecloth for my table because the other one I have is all grungy. I like the ones with the flannel backing. Oh my God. If you're from Canada, do you remember San? Oh it's such sand and then they change your name to red apple and then they went out of business anyway um yeah so it's not quite the shape of my table i need a round one this is a oblong so it's still kind of like rectangular but uh it was only like three dollars so we ended up picking this up and excuse <coughs> i love sheets i like really good quality sheets and I feel like the only really good quality sheets are sheets that are either very expensive or the ones that you find from back old the day because I've done both. I bought super expensive sheets online that are like, I don't know, 800 thread crowns, Egyptian cotton. And I purchased sheets from that were like 90s, 80s, and those were good as well. So I ended up buying this for $15. It's one double, one double flat sheet, one double fitted sheet, and two pillowcases. So uh we purchased this you know this is an old motherfucker okay it's a cotton polyester blend which i tend to like and it's made in usa so <laughs> i purchased another one i think recently that's also kind of this kind of florally kind of thing am i getting old because i'm actually gravitating toward like florals for my bed I remember back in the day, like maybe like 10 years ago or even like more than that, I'd be like, no, I don't want floral on my bed. I'm not a freaking grandma. <laughs> but now I like it. So clearly I'm getting old. And I like the feel of it. It's very like crisp. Even after you wash it, it's very crisp. I've purchased sheets before that were inexpensive and they were like either 100% polyester or a higher polyester count than cotton. And I didn't like it. Like, and the worst for me is jersey. I do not like the jersey uh, material for your bed. I like, I don't know what it is. I like Egyptian cotton, but there's one fitted sheet that I purchased that was made in USA, super old. It's like a white one. And it is so, it is the best sheet I've ever had in my life. I tried looking for it online, cannot find one. And I know this is old. It's probably like from the 80s or 90s but um it is just the perfect amount of thickness it feels so good against your skin i don't know what the hell they did it's 100 percent cotton but you know you get other things that are 100 percent cotton and they don't feel like that oh and i'm trying to preserve this mother freaking sheet and the sheet is white so it can get stained easily and i don't use it as much because i don't want it to wear or break or whatever then i'm out that sheet but it is my favorite sheet it feels good in the summer like it feels it doesn't feel hot it feels like uh, warm in the in the winter doesn't feel cold like it doesn't feel like cold in the winter it's just a perfect sheet and I thrifted it for five dollars it's like I can I know what I know what consistency it is it's just hard to tell you guys what it's almost like a very 
tight woven cotton. I don't know. I'm on the search for it again because I want a backup. That is like my favorite sheet. I would, if I had sheets like that, it's all I had, I'd be good with it. 